This is the Midnight Ghost Train. Back once again to Topeka, Kansas, a virtual hotbed of rock Americana. Steve Moss on guitar and vocals, Brandon Burkhart on drums, and Mike Boyne on bass. This is a hard stoner blues, kind of. A decade of touring Europe and the U.S. with a particularly live presentation. This was a Napalm record signing. They began in Buffalo. The band's name is borrowed from a line in a Hank Williams song, I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry. They relocated to Kansas, and I can't imagine why. Maybe they were tired of land with a variety of elevations. You can take the band out of Buffalo, but you can't stop them from naming their album Buffalo in 2012. Buffaloes are lucky. The album was all analog, something of a trend in the 2010. Does analog sound better than digital? Well, just ask Neil Young. And Buffalo's being lucky. I'm not sure if uh, that's the truth because it doesn't seem like Buffaloes were particularly lucky when Europeans came over to this plot of land and almost destroyed the entire million trillion buffalo herd. So that doesn't sound like good luck to me. After hearing this band, it is difficult to see any trace of the Delta Blues, but they say that they are into it. They did cover Lead Belly's Cotton Fields acapella. Mike Boyne became the new bassist in 2014, and they signed with Napalm Records, based in Austria. The first album was Cold Was the Ground in 2015. Cypress Ab went in 2017. They tried some hip hop, yeah, really, with Sonny Chiba in 2018. They ended for the best of reasons so that they could focus on their family. That's really important. It's more important than rock. It's true. Before Boyne, there were three other bases. These were Alfred Jordan, Tyler Harper, and Dave Kimmel. I know that a bass player can make a bad band good and a good band bad. He's got a bad bass player. Come twisted. But how do you audition? What are the criteria? Big amp? Fingers or picking? Fender or Rickenbacker? Singing or just a shaking of the floorboards? The best groove bass was from Motown and Carol Kay and in jazz. I wonder if there is still a niche for middle-aged good old balls to the wall riff music from the heartland. I hope so. I do. See, this guy here, he's really into it. He's like, let's make more of that roaring, growly sound, Mr. Singer. Because I think it, it, it speaks to me. It just... It gets into my soul. 